Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Anniston, Alabama, where we find the uh, Rusty Boy as he ends up getting kicked out of yet another courthouse. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, I don't have your phone number. Will you give me your phone number? You came in here and there's a there's actually um, a sign out there that tells you no videotaping or anything. Is that enforced by law? Oh, come on now, Rusty Boy. Uh, I know you are somewhat of an intelligent man. I think, anyway. But if you actually look on... Uh, the judicial websites of the state of Georgia, you'll be able to find this kind of thing. If you know where to look, that is. And according to what the judges have to say, uh, you don't have permission to film within the courthouse itself. And it specifically says courthouses. So, dude, uh, you might want to continue to... Uh, Rethink your strategies in this regard because, well, eventually it's going to come back to haunt you. It's not protocol, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, your protocol is someone's in here with a camera to <clears throat> call somebody to talk to them? I'm just trying to... Yes, sir. Uh, I don't need any help. Well, you're in our office and i um, got a camera and there's a sign on the door that says no audio or video recording. Oh, is that enforced by law? Yes. Which law is it? Uh, our law. It's your law in your name, oh. sir? I'm Chief Investigator Alex Farron from oh, the DA's okay. office. All right, I was this just... is not, this is a office. It is not a public area. Uh, Chief, I don't think you know who you're dealing with right here. This big boy is named Georgia Transparency, and, uh, well, he, he really doesn't care about what your laws say. He only cares about... Well, what his interpretation of his own policies are. That's all he really cares about. Oh, the public can't come in here and get services? You can ask for services, but then once you're finished, you don't get to reside here or film here. Oh, okay. Which Can you tell me which law that is? Sir, either you're going to leave now or we're going to have deputies up here and it's going to get, you're going to be here a lot longer than you need to be. I mean, I prefer to be left alone, then um, leave. exercising my freedom of the press in a public I'm not space. I'm not on the door that says you cannot be here with a video camera. So either I'm going to take your camera and you're going to get detained, or you can leave now. Yes, sir, you can't take my property. This is yeah. See, come here, right here. Can you read English? Can you read English? What does that say right there? Oh, but is it enforced by law? Sir. Oh, excuse me. I'm, so, I'm trying to get out of the way. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to be, I, I don't know, whatever your problem is. Sir, I have no problem. I haven't done anything. Yes, you have. What have I done? Oh, there's nothing wrong with uh, Rusty right here, except for him being an illiterate pain in the ass who throws... Well, literally throws his weight around in areas that he thinks he's in charge in. Uh, but in this particular scenario, uh, he's probably bit off more than he can chew because there are judges' orders that do back up that sign. And uh, he could have easily looked them up on the their website. But, of course, he's just like any other fraudster. He does not want to accept that that might be possible that a judge does have power uh, beyond the courtrooms. There's rules to enter this office and it says right there. And you said it's a rule now, but I thought it was a law. But I'm out of the office now. Okay, fine. Don't come back in. Why not? What if I need help? Sir, whatever your problem is, I'm glad you have a video camera. I have, Sir, you have a life that all you want to do is walk right. around and just film people for no reason. Sir, I don't have a problem. That's on you. You just threw me out of a public space. No, I told you these are told me private take offices. My cameras, but I wasn't in the private offices. Sir? I was okay. in the public lobby. Can we get a deputy up here to maybe he sure. can tell you what the law is? Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. How about they regret that? Is everything okay? And your name, you're Mr. Alex? Yes, yeah, sir. You really need to Do you have a business card, sir?
Well, the police officers show up and, uh, uh, well, they say that Rusty can film within certain areas of the, uh, courthouse, but there's, uh, other areas that he's not allowed to film in, that kind of thing. But that really doesn't suit Rusty Boy's, uh, nature, so he goes to another part of the courthouse to cause trouble there. This is the gentleman here. Yes, it's so I want to go back in Come and film in the public. Guess what? If you film a child or one of our go go to work, papers, go go to work, sir. You don't tell me what to do, sir. Get out of my face. Go to work. What is his problem? You. I did nothing but merely existed with a camera. Shame on you, Miss Shamika. Shame on you. Shame on this office. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. I don't think you can take pictures in here. Oh, I think I can if it's a public lobby. No, it's not. This is not. This is a juvenile area and this is a confidential area. We don't even allow cell phones in here. Oh, um, there's a receptionist here. So would the public come in here to get general, to get services? Yes, they can. Oh, then we're in a public lobby. But then. It, we don't allow cameras nor for cell phones. Oh, then um, what about press? Yeah, I don't think that the uh, real media would be so anxious to uh, barge their way into a juvenile area like this, uh, where children might be, uh, only somebody of a particular nature would probably be interested in that. So, like I said before, you might want to reconsider your actions before uh, people start talking about the possibilities of, well, what you may actually be. Without cameras or cell phones, sure. Oh, I want to disagree if, with if you. If you have some questions or something. I'm sorry, my name's this Russ. Is, your name? My name's Jeff Hyatt. Jeff? I'm the chief okay. probation officer. This is just a confidential area because everything um, that has to do with juveniles is confidential. So nothing can be recorded. You can actually be charged. There's an amend, uh, a statute where you can be charged for video and a recording down here. Oh. Um, and it's from this door, and it goes up the stairs to our courtrooms. Oh, I'm not going in the courtroom, but I'm yeah. in like a public area. So, right. I mean, I want to respectfully like disagree. I mean, I can't That's go. In, I can't go in there. I know that. Or like, well, this this is all juvenile like probation. That. This is our lobby yeah. and waiting area. Oh yeah, lot means it's a public space. It's not. It's a con it's a confidential area. Oh, well, then how would one access the confidential? area just by walking in and getting services well that's why we come out here to check anybody that has a cell phone and we've got probably 10 or 12 different can you uh, tell me what statue that is by chance I don't know it off the top of my head I did not you could look at what up. law that is because I have no idea I didn't know that I'm there was gonna, a statue I'm not going to continue to do this I'm just telling you what the law is you know sir uh, if you actually were able to tell him the law uh, the statute and everything like that I bet you anything that uh, rusty boy right here would try to dance around it and say that it's unconstitutional. Uh, but he would find out otherwise if he actually pressed the issue. And we've got kids in some of these offices and stuff. Oh, and I'm, not here for, I'm not here for kids. I know. I understand that. No, no, I'm not and, here and for kids. And you're welcome to stay and ask any questions. You're just not allowed to film or video or take pictures. Oh, okay. All righty. Okay. I had the same issue upstairs with the DA's offices. Yeah, I don't they know tried the policies. yeah they tried the policies. Yeah, the policies. Um, so is that a the no recording in here? Is that y'all's policy? Yes. No, they they can't even be out. Oh, okay, okay. Does, so does y'all's policy supersede the law or the U.S. Constitution? No, it is the law. I, look, I'm not getting into this with you. I need you to get the camera out of this hallway, or I'll get somebody to get you out. Sir, please don't Did yell at me. Hey, somebody get me a deputy, please. Sir, please don't yell at me. Well, please leave the area like I ask you to. Why? I'm merely existing. Because I ask you to. But you can ask, but well, um, do what I'm asking you to do. I can like politely decline. Come on, let's go out on the other side of the store. I'll be happy to answer any questions, and you can do whatever they allow you to do. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, I think the only way he's going to leave is under threat of arrest. But hey, I think that's something we all want to see anyway. But I, it's not going to happen this time, which is quite unfortunate. But hey, at least we get to see him trespass from the building. 
There's that at least. You do not come past this door with a camera. Come on, sir. I need somebody. Come on, sir. Why do y'all need somebody so fast? Because you're not doing what I ask you to do. Because I'm asking you to leave this area with that camera. If I take that camera and take it to my judge, you will not get it back. I can guarantee you that. Sir, you can't take my property. That'd be theft. This is notice. No, it's not. It's uh, There's Where? notices out here to put your cell phones away or any video. But I'm sir, telling you. I'm telling you. They not film in the juvenile probation office. Uh, oh, no. I'm not in the uh, I'm not in These the are the juvenile, you are. This, this is the juvenile probation officer past this Yeah, he said it's a public lobby, though. This is, a, this is a juvenile probation. This is a public lobby out here. Okay, do y'all have a supervisor? I am a supervisor. No, I meant the deputy one. I am the supervisor. Do you have one above you or something? You can go talk to the sheriff. Where's the sheriff at? You cannot film in the juvenile probation office. Okay, well, let me film step. anywhere you uh, want to outside the courtroom. I go to jail if I don't leave out of here? Or? Yes, trespassing. Trespassing for, for being in public as a member of the press? You are this not is, in public. This is not public we are area. In public, but we are. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. This is a public area. Okay. Well, I can this, just... I, inside this door is not public. The juveniles, you cannot interfere with oh. any juvenile. You cannot film through the door either. You may not film through the door. Sir, what is going on? I'm merely I existing with a camera. Please. Can I get y'all's names and badge numbers, please? Go talk to the sheriff. Oh, my God. Jeez. Jeff, he's still doing it. I know he is. Let me call my let me call my attorney. I'll argue with you. You either do what we say and you can film anywhere you Sir, want I don't to. have to do what you say unless I break a law. Trespassing is breaking the law. I'm you, not gonna argue with you. Don't why you got your hand on your gun? I will arrest you. For what? I wonder who your attorney is. Could it be Chile de Castro? If that's the case, uh, I can understand why uh, you do things wrong so often because he's not exactly a good person to be listening to as far as legal advice goes. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, can I have your name and badge number, please? No, sir. Why not? Get it from the sheriff's office. Yeah, right here. You, you can't tell me your name and badge number, sir? No, I'm not going to. Why? Film and you can get it right here. I can't see it though. So this, this is a secure screening area. Uh, either move back inside that area. Or but I'm in public though. This is the and I'm out of the way. Secure area. You are in the way. Going to ask you to go home. You can film from inside there. I mean, I would like to respectfully decline and finish my story. I mean, I'll leave under threat of arrest or if you trespass me. You suck. Thank you so much, man. Hello. Oh, sorry. Y'all have a great day. You too. I'm good. Ah, you as well. Um, make sure to check out the channel. It's Georgia Transparency. The Calhoun County Sheriff's Office needs some serious help and education about the oath they swore to uphold. No, Rusty Boy, I think it's you that's in a serious need of an education. I mean, it seems like uh, you're getting dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber all the damn time. Every time I watch you, it seems like you're just slipping a little bit down that uh, slope of stupidity right there. I mean, it's only natural. I mean, you're getting lazier and lazier on it. You're not exactly coming up with any new ideas as far as frauding goes. I mean, you're stuck in the same damn arguments every single time. But hey, I mean, if that's your little shtick, then you might as well just go ahead and stick with it and uh, make yourself look like a dumbass every single time. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?